Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to start working with Sysmo Structure. Sysmo Structure is one of the best software for existing or performance design of structure. In case if you have an existing structure you want to retrofit or strain the structure, you should use this software to design your structure and uh, use some technique to improve the earthquake resistance. So here's the software interface. It's quite very simple. You will start from this here from defining a material and you will get to analyze output. But here I will start from this here is called the wizard which is giving which is giving an automatic uh, structure in case if I want 3D select 3D or I want 2D. So for the simple stages, I want a 2D, which has a two base in the X direction and number of studios three. The bay length is four meters and the studio height is three. This is a very simple. The structure material is called reinforced concrete. You also, in case if you want to use a steel member, you can use steel structure. And for the loading type, I want to consider a pushover analysis. The loading type is that that load should be distributed across the structure. Okay, now it asks me how much nominal lateral load you want to apply in the entire three study. So I want that should be 1000 kN. Now, automatically, a three study, three bay, a two bay structure is created. Created and this is the lateral load, and this is the applied gravity load which we distributed uniformly. Now you can go back to here to material, you can see which material is applied when we use this wizard. Now, here is the steel material uh, the, for the long durational reinforcement for the transfer reinforcement for the concrete. In case if you want to check this material, you can go to the add material and you can check those material. So one of the concrete was con called concrete mat. This is the illustrious behavior of the concrete. So we're not going to add again. The section, when we apply the automatic section, so automatically they give us two sections. One is called section column, rectangular cross section, and also called slab <coughs> cross section. I'm going to here, here in a called he did. You can see this is the uh, this is the cross section which is automatically giving for us with this reinforcement. In case you want to read it or uh, reduce, so you can check here, and also for the reinforcement how much you want. We will uh, do another tutorial which will focus on how we can define uh, manually cross section. So now just a very simple tutorial. I'm gonna go to check. Now element classes. Uh, in the element classes, uh, because it's a nonlinear uh, analysis software, we usually do a nonlinear. We should use uh, some sort of element to define nonlinear properties as well, such as FB force based uh, beam column, and also ANG, most of these things. So, we're going to ignore this and we're going to select C the nodes. It's beginning from the bottom and going to the top of the structure. The connectivity is also giving. So the how this is called column, which is connectivity between these nodes. The constraint, we don't have any constraint for the slab, which we should apply. This is the strain, which is the boundary condition in the bottom, in the second one, which is strain in all direction. Applied load, this is the incremental load, which is applying in the x direction, these three, node one, node two, node three. Other one is the permanent load, which is taken from the 
uh, beam columns which we call self load giving a minus 5 kN in this top now we have load phase it's called response control we created this response in automatically for a pushover analysis which is we want to push this structure by 0 0.15 meter or 15 centimeter the node is node 3rd this one and 50 step target displacement for the target displacement we want to apply this target displacement based on the some code in this code we want to allow the structure this behavior so it should can resist uh, can have uh, five percent uh, uh, earthquake for the 15 years and finally the intermediate so this is some criteria you can uh, read this in uh, in FEMA or also a ASC 41 uh, for the designing or ability of the structure this is the performance criteria in the curve if we have x y and we have a and point b c and then d now we uh, want to consider this one as a pushover curve and then we want to uh, in case this is a shear building you can check it otherwise it's a very ordinary building now base performance co uh, code it should be adequate uh, column beam all pr properties and the frame element beam column now you can see the sa safety factor given by the code now it's uh, the modeling is in this uh, in this part which we finished now we go to the uh, processor. In the processor, we want to perform the analysis. It's called perform the analysis. It asks me to save the model before starting the. I call it pushover and it's now on yes want to perform the analysis and it's finished and here is a uh, all 15 steps which is all 15 steps had uh, convergence now we go to post processing and we want to see the result so here is the result uh, you can come down and you can see uh, this is the result output uh, this is the, uh, the deforming shape uh, data you can see in each uh, step how much deformation is giving and next uh, the next thing is I want to show you the performance criteria check uh, here is uh, you can use uh, this data and you can see the performance demand limit performance issue status not reached in that which we giving in the code to reach the D or BC now other other thing is the the performance check history uh, we can uh get the what we want in the x y and uh, the yield part or you know you can see this is the curve of uh end of the beam which is the uh, rotation the same age parameters you can uh analyze and you can see the response uh, now uh, I want to uh, check the eigenvalue results so it's very uh, simple is the period of time is 0 0.85 second and the mass participation also here uh, 
this is the, the model mass here. Now this 85 percent is reached in the first month, which is quite acceptable, and you can see also in the REX as well. Uh, the next one is uh, nodal masses. How much this load converted the mass to the nodals, and you can see. And also, we want to uh, see the target displacement. So this is the blue curve. This is the blue curve is the code, and this uh, gray curve is the structure performance, which is showing until this area a little degradation now it's the displacement in zero zero and this is the displacement to this here is the base share this two point and until this here is the elastic so then it will start to in uh, the plasticity region so this is 59 and the same time here 0.19 here this is the actually dialyzed curve of this curve and this is the criteria which is given based on the code uh, this is the calculation of the uh, the stiffness of this curve effective stiffness and this is a parameter this is the uh, L, L point of this and this is the dy of this point Uh, okay, now it's finished uh, because um, this software is uh, uh, very interesting and still need to uh, work more on, on this software. Uh, so until uh, now, uh, we have learned how to model such a structure and how to get this pushover curve. So the pushover curve is quite better than, than most of other software. Uh, okay, if you have any question, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.